Okay. That's probably about good right there. Okay, so... Uh, God, I've actually never done this before. It's been... It's been, a, like, a couple months since I streamed. But... And I don't think I ever got around to making, like, the vlogs that I wanted to. As much as I've been, like, traveling and living life. But, yeah. So... If you saw my last update on Twitter, I'm in Wuhan, and the city is in quarantine because of uh, the um, was it coronavirus or whatever they call it. Because I, I like I don't, I don't even think that's an apt description because you know they say the common cold is also like a coronavirus. So uh, yeah, it's it's a bad label to go about it. But yeah, I'm here. I know friends have been linking articles about some charter flight that's heading out of the city for like US citizens like myself, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting on that flight. So I'm just going to ride things out here in Wuhan with my girlfriend. Eh, it's kind of weird talking about it. It's also kind of weird just doing this whole vlog thing because I don't have any editing software. Um, luckily I did pack my camera so I can actually like shoot this but yeah maybe it's just kind of still like setting in here I've been reading a lot of stuff on Twitter about just generally people pretty scared all around the world about it um, I'm pretty okay I'm pretty okay we stocked up on food before because, you know, Chinese New Year's was coming up. So usually everything closes down anyway. So we stocked up on food for a couple weeks just in case. And luckily that came in handy. We got plenty of bottled water. There's also running water. There's We got heat, gas, you know. It's not the apocalypse out here as much as people have been saying. So... I'm okay. I'm just kind of figuring out, like, what the everyday day-to-day -day is going to be like. So, luckily though, um, still have internet, still have my Switch, we have board games. Um, I have a couple Gundam kits I need to finish building, so there's enough stuff to kill time. But, I asked myself really when I was like this whole thing started because it's day three of quarantine now I think it's either day three or day four but it's like how does this actually affect my life and how does this change things because I've never really been like a person that goes out much anyway so yeah it's pretty normal honestly I'm not super concerned um and I guess the big questions are, is like, are you healthy? And yeah, uh, my girlfriend and I have been like taking our temperatures like every day and I am perfectly fine. No fever, no nothing, as healthy as I can be. So there's that. Um, let's see, people have been asking questions about like the food situation. Um, I shot some footage while we were out like, just looking for groceries and other stuff today um, so there's not that much stuff that's open but that that might just because of the holiday um, but we found some instant noodles and other stuff drinks snacks food um, I don't think any of the grocery stores around here are open yet but the convenience store did say that they would be stocking like rice and eggs soon they just happen to be out of stock at the moment so that's good um, let's see, what else? I don't know. I guess if you have any questions, then ask. Um, I'm on Twitter. Probably where you're going to see this video. Um, I need to actually dress up my YouTube account where I'll be uploading this. 
probably need to figure out some actual like video editing software or something to actually get this all placed together but yeah things are pretty chill here um as for the other things do i have a supply of like the n95 mask yeah i got plenty of masks that i don't really need to worry about but i also don't plan on going out if not needed um probably will be streaming if the internet here holds up and i can actually like stream reliably that's may might not be a thing might need to just do vods but like i guess right now like between you and me this is like pretty much the only kind of connection that we have so you know should make the most of it i guess concerns wise i'm not actually like terribly concerned for myself I'm more so concerned for, like, my family back home and my friends. And of course, like, they're all super concerned about me because, like, I'm here in the middle of things. Um, but, yeah, like, at least some of the stuff that's been going out on social is that, like, people are, at least back home in the States, like, they're getting scared of Chinese people. Like they're getting scared about this flu or bug or pneumonia corona what well, whatever kind of label you want to put on it right but it's just been used as this like kind of free label to be you know generally racist and fearful towards people that look different than they do you know i you know my face i was born to a chinese family but i'm an american citizen that's the truth of it and, you know all americans can and do look different we come from all different walks of life and we go all over but you know i don't think there's reason to be fearful of each other like right now with what's going on yeah you know do your safety precautions wear a mask wash your hands uh, avoid unnecessary contact if possible just try to be healthy but using this as like some sort of like blank check for racism is not cool you know, be kind to each other. Because there's a lot of people out there that are hurting right now. There's a lot of people who are, you know, just doing their best to survive. I mean, yeah. So, I don't know. Try to be compassionate. Try to be kind to each other. And that's all about all I got for today. But, you know, leave your messages. I read them. This is Warren. Till next time.